you are the soul of the soul of universe and your name is love rumi ladies and gentlemen boys and girls first of all thank you very much for your kind blessings showering on me on my social media welcome to this book reading series and this is the 63rd book in our series today if i may uh, pick up this book on you know um, the love also rumi said within you there is much more than you understand and that's basically love isn't it many times we get confused that you know when it comes to our families and friends or maybe at workplace you know what where we need to where we need to draw a line whether it is good to express love what kind of love it is because many times I come across that people are saying that don't mix up your feelings don't take it personally keep it very professional right don't take it on your heart so we get confused by what is this you know love and affection and what is this you know fraternity all about and good etiquette so um, if i may pick today uh, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the four loves by cs lewis the four loves by cs lewis uh, first let's first let's understand who is cs lewis cs lewis clive staples lewis 1898 to 1963 was one of the intellectual giants of the 20th century ladies and gentlemen and uh, the most influential writer of his day he He was a fellow and tutor in English literature at Oxford University until 1954 when he was unanimously elected the chair of Medieval and Renaissance English at Cambridge University a position he held until his retirement. Well, he wrote more than 30 books ladies and gentlemen and uh, some of his um, achievements I mean his most distinguished and popular accomplishments include the Chronicles of Narina the Cosmic Trilogy the four loves today we are going to talk about the four loves the brief uh, summary rather uh, the the screw tapes letters and near christianity so ladies and gentlemen um, these four loves uh, uh, lewis has taken from the greek literature the greek practices the expressions of love the first one the first expression is storge the storge yeah the second one is philia the third one is eros and the fourth one is apage Yeah, we will go one by one. Now, what is storge? The storge, this kind of love, this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of, this kind of love, this kind of expression, this kind of emotional response arises out of familiarity. Yeah, uh, being familiar. For example, mother and child within family, right? So uh, this is the basic of all the loves. This is the basic of all the love. This is the foundation of all the loves um, through which we are born and brought up. This kind of love. So. Uh, and now this is good so this is more of affection this arises uh, out of the people out of the not just people but you know could be pets could be animals birds and the environment we live in yeah so uh, this more uh, uh, it comes out of our affection towards them yeah and the attachment and knowing each other very well the kind of uh, the, the more we get familiar to each other the more we spend time with each other the more we stay in touch with each other this kind of you know affection it keeps on growing so uh, this is good because since it is the foundation of all the loves the so called four loves over here yeah so i have a habit of of getting into a little bit of analysis so that you know uh, the modern man the modern mind can easily understand the do's and don'ts and where to draw a line what it is up to what i should avoid what i should adapt yeah so to keep it very precise to get very very specific yeah So what are the um, the plus and the minus yeah the challenges of each love the expression of love if i may put this across is that when it comes to storge the storge the plus points definitely because it breeds all kinds of loves and affection and uh, you know it make it connects with the people and you get that kind of you know homely feeling you get that you know kind of affection but many times you have seen within a family you know there are certain conflicts why these conflicts are there because you know you you take it as a right yeah the children uh, may take it as a right that parents should continuously love them or maybe the parents may have similar kind of expectation irrespective of the changes happening socially technology yeah uh, psychologically isn't it yeah neurologically and um, we tend to generalize so many times it leads to unfortunately hatred also and certain severe and certain severe fights yeah so we need to draw a line because many times it's like me 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 uh, more possessive yeah so we define an area that uh, this is me this is my wife this is my son my parents this is my territory this is my office this is my people my organization my country it's more of me 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 right so it may bloat the ego and it may then um, alienate you from the rest of the beings and uh, that can give rise to animosity that can give to Uh, rise to uh, violences and all these things, isn't it? This is what it is. So uh, after a uh, storge, 
you know if we get into the second expression of love from this book you know, the four loves of lewis is basically the philia philia uh, when it comes to the greek uh, mythology or the greek practices and the greek uh, beliefs they give a lot of importance to philia philia is about friendship now how the friendship happens because we need to have certain common interest common areas certain common denominators so there is a lot of you know exchange of ideas thoughts expressions you know learning and uh, mutual benefits what's in it for me you know it leads to a lot of collaborations you see in when it comes to our business worlds also when it comes to our professional worlds also the all kinds of uh, win win association relationships you know they arise all out of philia you know the philia isn't it the philia is kind of affinity is kind of you know uh, liking someone that's you no know, this expression of love so uh, friendship a uh, lot of benefits of this expression of love friendship because you know you learn from each other you get benefit a lot of benefits you know you collaborate you team up yeah if you have certain weaknesses if you have certain gaps you know the your your friend or your association may plug in those gaps so you become more stronger you emerge out more stronger and stronger that is the benefit of of philia but many times when it comes to extremes could be two kinds of extremes one person you know uh may uh since you know may get into the extreme that uh, I, i if i may quote an example of karn and duryodhan a uh, great friendship an example of great friendship but karn knew that duryodhana uh, in mahabharat we all know he is treading a path of adharma right which is not right so then karn says since you are my friend i am going to give you support till i die so i think that is a different kind of you know extreme uh, so this is could this could be the flip side of philia uh, the third expression of love uh, from this book you know uh, the four the third kind of expression is eros eros yeah so eros is definitely when it comes to men women you know the kind of you know physical attraction the love between men and women yeah but here uh, even even the author is um, uh, making uh, make it very clear that is not always about the sexuality it is not about you know men falling for women it's but falling for certain you know particular uh, women you know and uh, eros is not always sexual you know it's it's uh, romance and by romance it also doesn't mean that you know uh, limited to just body even i personally if you ask me towards then i'm going to share you my opinion about and my learnings about from this book yeah so uh, and but this is very very natural this is very very natural instinct uh, it comes very naturally eros comes very naturally there is uh, there is you know um, there are hormonal changes as we get into teenage and this is very much required when it comes to existence it leads to reproduction it leads to progeny and we we understand from even um, genetics that the best genes want to get survived and uh, that's the first survival of the fittest so it's very natural you know the result or the consequences of uh, eros are very very natural doesn't exist only in men but all the living forms isn't it so eros but we need to understand that it is not the sexuality it may be divine form call it sex uh, more of loving yeah uh, eros eros may lead to jealousy eros may lead to uh, possessiveness and eros uh, may lead to all kinds of great wars maybe uh, maybe at not, maybe not at just family but even when it look at the organization departments or even at the nations stuck into eros into that sexuality uh, yeah uh, they may get they may get gender bias they may get bias towards the opposite sex or the sex they are interested in and uh, in that you know uh, what will happen the competent people the competent people uh, whom you don't like uh, may suffer because since you are biased towards those genders out of eros you may promote them you may uh, give a lot of things which they don't deserve and it may create great chaos and conflicts among the organization the departments even the nations and uh, the fourth one is apage the fourth one is apage now apage literally means uh, charity charity so charity begins at home and charity uh, is good because then then you are uh, then you are actually breaking all the walls which began with your stogie me my family my my uh, society my community and going towards you know philia um, that you know you are getting into certain collaborations maybe beyond borders it's kind of a compassion yeah so what are the plus points of uh, charity definitely it gives peace of mind and uh, there are no strangers and it is giving and receiving both it's giving and receiving both this is biggest challenge of apage is the charity is you must believe in what you are doing if you are not believing and just out of moral conduct and a higher version or maybe the highest wisdom that you no know, charity is very important has to be done 
लाइक लाइक इन इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स ऑल्सो इट्स लाइक यू नो दान धर्म करना चाहिए लेकिन अगर ब्लाइंडली करते हैं आप दिल से नहीं करते हैं सो देर इज़ नो पॉइंट टू इट बिकॉज इट नॉट लीड टू पीस ऑफ माइंड और रियलाइजेशन ऑफ द हायर विजडम और द हायर पर्पज और द यू बी योर योर हायर सेल्फ राइट इफ यू एस्ट मी द लव इज इवन वेन इट कम्स टू योर ऑर्स द लवर्स दे डोंट मीट ईच आदर दे एक्चुअली लिव इन ईच आदर ऑल अ लॉन्ग दैट्स वॉट रूमी सेट and uh, i i truly believe in that you need not to have physical intimacy once you uh, get connected or um, even if you are not known to that person that's fine absolutely fine love is not confined to the bodies love is very different yeah uh, so love is god and god is love love is the genesis love is the journey love is the destination ab mein hi rab hai rab mein hi sab hai and if you ask me love should be all inclusive love should go beyond all kinds of borders and genders If you ask me, the wonder of my relationship with every gender is, मुझे genders नजर नहीं आते हैं. I become so comfortable with everyone because I don't look at that. You know, I I am a living being. Other person is a living being, irrespective of the genders, irrespective of the species. Yeah, and there is this common denominator. You know, feeling good with each other, respecting each other, loving each other, caring for each other. Because it's rightly said, people don't care how much you know unless they know how much you care for them. so love should be all inclusive love should be caring love should be respect love should uh, uh love should be communion love should be compassion without any expectations yeah so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's go explore and co evolve with cs lewis the four loves thank you very much bye bye